What if I told you that I made this artwork entirely with the help of ChatGPT? Now, for whatever reason, if you still don't know what is ChatGPT, I would assume you were living under the rock because everyone is talking about it and almost every creator I know is been using it in some sort of way to take advantage of it and to accelerate their workflow. And in today's video, I'm very excited because it's about Blender. It's uh, it's about the software that I almost use every day. So let's quickly assume that you actually don't know about this tool and I'm not judging you, but you should know about this tool. So ChatGPT basically is, it's, it's an AI writing tool. It's like a genius friend that you've never had. And I mean it. You can literally ask for anything. You can ask the, to write you a letter, an email, uh, a YouTube script. Uh, it's equivalent to uh, Google, a simplified Google, but thousand times better. Cause like it gives you direct and like if you ask specific question, it gives you specific answer. With Google, you have to do your own research, find the right sources. This is all there, you know? It can do so many more things, including writing codes, which this video is all about. So I use ChatGPT to write me a Python code for Blender that would allow me to create these complex shapes in Blender without modeling one bit which is insane. This thing is like a coding wizard. It can crank out perfectly functioning codes in less than a minute, which feels almost like magic. If you're familiar with codes, basically even writing a simple code can require a proper understanding of the language code. And every language is different. There is Python, there is JavaScript, there's like all these different types and you you have to be familiar with all of them to write something, to write something functional, but not anymore because with ChatGPT, you can literally ask for anything and it will write you down. Um, you, it can help you with your website. It can help you with, with uh, solving complex issues using codes. So enough talking and I'll get right into what I did to get such result and how you can take advantage of this tool and Take whatever you're creating in Blender to the next level and accelerate what you're doing if you can using codes. So the first thing I did was to ask ChatGPT to write me a Blender script of 300 random cubes linked and merged into each other in the shape of sphere. And as you can see, it immediately gave me a code. Now I can copy it and go to Blender, go to text editor, create a new text, copy paste and run the script. But here I had a little bit of problem because I wanted to merge all the cubes to one. So I went back and I asked ChatGPT to merge all cube and this time it worked fine. But one thing to keep in mind, if you get any errors in your coding, so whatever the problem is, you can actually ask ChatGPT for a solution. It's either going to give you an updated script or it will provide you with some alternative solutions. But you should be able to get what you want in most cases. So basically, as you can see, the first thing I did was to stretch them out in a way, creating this sci-fi futuristic building, you can say. Um, and then I just duplicated them by holding Alt D on my keyboard as much as I could. That way I could create almost like a portal on the other side, um, light portal. So this is what I'm trying to do here. The initial idea was to create like a sphere, but it just didn't look the way it should. Here, as you can see, I'm experimenting with the sun a bit to see how the light will simulate. And then all I did was to add a metal material on top of it. And then obviously I duplicated more so I can cover some of the gaps um, on the sides. And then I use one of my fog from my fog pack to create some depth within the scene. So if you're interested to get the fog pack, the link will be in the description. And later on, what I did, I was just kind of like experimenting with light. So first off, I tried a few points light here and there, and then I kind of created like an area light coming from the other side like a portal but then I, I changed the light color to more of something that would represent more or less the sun that way it creates this beautiful complementary colors between uh, orange and teal then I will have to do position the light and here I had a feeling that I was almost you know finishing up just some final touch and then change the ratio to more of a cinematic ratio which is 1920 by 817 and uh, made one of the shapes a little bit closer to the camera so i can use one of my png characters and uh, add more personality 
to my artwork here i used one of those characters and i just positioned them right on where i wanted to put the link will be in the description if you are interested to get these png characters they're around 30 30 of them high resolution that you can use in your artwork so yeah that's pretty much it and i think yeah time to render after rendering with blender i did some adjustment with lightroom and photoshop and this is the final result thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it or learned something make sure to leave a like or subscribe to this channel uh, and you know doing all the good stuff for the algorithm to be recommended for other people i would be highly appreciated and if you want to dive in in my workflow or how i create my artworks you can check out my skillshare or my gumroad page which is going to be one-time payment and a lifetime update both link will be in the description i'll see you guys in the next one